Come here, Riggs. Come here. One sec. Daily Lions blog time. Riggs, come here. It's uh, the Daily Lions blog for February the 21st, 2020. Yeah. Don't you want a piece of the action? Don't you want to get that beautiful face in here? Hi, folks. I just got back from Calgary, and yeah, I understand. Give him a touch. And, and show, touch? Show these people. Touch? Um, Watch this. He's going to make his way over here. Touch? Touch? You don't touch? Want to see you once. Look at that. That's unbelievable. I don't have any treats for you, but I have a lot of love. I just got back from Calgary where I was, uh, I gave two speeches, 75 minutes each, 15 minutes in between. And I think it was about 750 people at each one. So like that's about 1500 people. And I'm telling you that it was one of my favorite experiences as, as a mental health advocate or whatever the hell I, I am. I, I ask people, what am I? Like, what do I do? What is my role in this? And I said, you know, I really wish that I was uh, a, a revolutionary, right? But the problem is I look terrible in a beret. I wore a beret once, and it was horrendous. So you can't be a revolutionary, right? If you if if you can't wear a beret, remember the beret in Normandy. In Normandy. Oh my God! Uh, but it was it was one of my favorite experiences because I felt really good. So this is a real positive lands blog. This is me saying that I I felt. 100% like myself. I felt like I was doing what I was meant to do. I felt like I was doing what I have spent my life doing and learning how to do. And I just felt awesome. And I learn every single time I do this. And I learn uh, because people ask questions and you learn from their questions what it is they're struggling with. And one of the things that I heard that was pretty devastating was a teacher, uh, a 13 year old girl in her class took her own life and she asked me how do you know when someone's struggling because this girl looked like she was just a normal girl you know that she was happy that you know she had friends that she was the last person that you would pick out of a lineup for struggling with mental illness and unfortunately, I, I couldn't answer a question. I couldn't say that there's giveaways, there's tells, so to speak, because we don't let people into ourselves, into our lives, if, if we don't think that they belong there. A 13-year-old girl who doesn't feel like she can talk to those around her will not show signs, will not be the person that you pick out of the lineup. And the only thing I could think of was you need to create an environment, at least try to, where people feel like, hey, it would be a normal thing to share the fact that I don't feel well. I have thoughts of, you know, like these terrible thoughts. No one is going to say that on their own. No one is going to come out and tell their parent or their teacher or anybody in their life when they're 13 years old that they have suicidal thoughts unless you basically create this environment which allows them to feel comfortable enough to come out and say it. The first time you use the word suicide if you're a kid, is never going to be when you tell someone that you are thinking about suicide. You need to hear it over and over and over again. That was just, that was the only thing I could say. And there was this dead silence in the room and you could hear how personal this was for 750 teachers. You know, I could hear people sniffing and I could hear, I could see in people's faces the shock and the horror and the, oh my God, please don't let that ever be me. Don't let that ever be one of my students. Sicknotweek.com, 24 hours a day, 364, five days a year. Hey, this is the leap year month, right? Did I say that right? Yeah, we already took a day off though, so we're going through it. Oh, we're it. going through it, man. We're going through it. And I just, you know what? We're here because when I don't feel good, I can share with you my struggles and you will, you know, perhaps go, hey, that really helped me. But when I feel good, I'm going to share it too because this is hope for you.